Hey guys, KT6 here, Metal Detecting in Alaska. I'm going out on my bike again today to go do some exploration. I was going to ride up to the Dalton Highway today, but my buddy talked me out of it. I guess he says there's a lot of smoke. So here's a map of the smoke that shows. Uh, how bad the fires are about around Alaska. Okay, well, let's jump onto the bike and go to a popular spot that I know about. That I found recently and uh, let's see what we can find there everyone always asks me what this is it's my GoPro with the glove on it <laughs> to protect it looks like a little hand waving at you Hi. <laughs> all right here we go now the last time I went this way there was a lot of road construction That's too cool, man. I'd love to go for a ride on that thing that rides on the tracks. And here we have the typical Alaskan road construction, where they call it a pavement break. But basically they just stripped up the road. Now I'm on the perfect vehicle for this. I don't care what the terrain is. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, you know that guy I saw that was on the railroad tracks, I should have stopped and talked to him and asked him if he knew of any old Alaskan railroad uh, dumps along the railroad because, you know, back in the day they used to dump all their stuff somewhere out in the middle of nowhere and uh, he might actually know where some of those are looked like a pretty old uh, nice guy need to take more time to try to talk to people like that Well, I made it to the spot where I'm gonna go look for this old cabin that I found at one point about six or seven years ago. And at the time, I didn't really dig up bottles or cans, so, but there was a lot of targets all around it, so let's see if we can find it. All right, so look how thick this stuff is. I'm gonna have to get down and wade through this stuff like tunnels. And that's why we have to carry sidearms. Ah! And make a lot of noise. I'll just have my first target. Some old can. Getting different targets here, so let's uh, see what we got. Okay, I dug up several of these, and they're just little teeny pieces of of that. So let's move on. Well, you can see where something big was laying here. 
back in all these thick woods. All right, so I'm wandering through here, and look at this. Down there's a big mine shaft. Plus, I hear something walking around me. Holy crap. Hey, hey. Can't hardly whistle, I'm out of breath. Just want to let something, whatever, know I'm here. Hey, hey. I got a 80 signal right here below me. It's got to be a huge pipe or something. All right, there's a better view of that mine shaft. It's kind of scary to walk towards the edge of it. I'm trying to work my way up to the through the woods on the right. But man, this stuff has gotten a lot thicker since the last time I was up here. Now some scraps right around that mine shaft. All right, I'm gonna keep venturing through that thick stuff. I'm trying to do this every so often as I walk. Kind of let the bears know I'm here. All right, well. I was just kind of coming out of that thicket and almost getting into the woods. Man, I keep hearing something walking around me. I hope I'm not being stalked. Anyways, I got a iron target here, so I started digging. Look at this. Wow. It looks like they use that as like a wedge. That thing is heavy. Now I gotta carry it. Hey, sweet fine though, right? In all this thickness. It's crazy. I thought there might be another signal here. I guess not. Okay, that was it. All right, let's keep looking. We're gonna keep going that way. Uh, right on the edge of another big mine shaft. I didn't even see it till I was right upon it. And we're slowly getting into the big woods. Now next target, a little piece of pipe. Well, here's another big mine shaft. Uh, hopefully that cabin I saw last time was up this way. I'm here, bears. Here's another big mine shaft. It's funny because all this green stuff is about knee high. And you can't really see through it. This is a deep one. I wondered what I was walking on. It's old tailings piles. All this. Look at all these big quartz rocks down here. Looks like they filled in a hole here. I wonder if it was a the start of a mine shaft or maybe a privy. You never know. Oh, looks like I found another old can. A lot of those fuel cans around. All right, well, part of an old can. Got my next target. Easy. Ah, I think it's part of a shovel. I think that's what that is. All right, I'm in the middle of the woods. It's as thick as it could be. And I think I just found a Bigfoot hut. Look at that. Oh shit. It's heard something. Let's get out of here. I'm finding some old car parts, I'm assuming. Well, I just found a, uh, 
old wheelbar half buried. All right, so I found an area here that's just loaded with uh, targets. So far I've dug out these two cans and started peeling it back. And it looks like there's more in there. Look at that. That's an old can. Sweet, maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be a bottle in here, I hope. All right, we're gonna keep looking. All right, so I started probing here and I hit some glass. I only have one glove, so I better be careful. Oh, wouldn't you know it, I think it's a ketchup bottle. Still has the lid on it. But hey, if that's here, there might be more. Sweet. First bottle. Oh, look at that. Nice old can. Another old can. Awesome. I love it. Found a new spot. All right, I'll get back if I find anything interesting. Well, I just pulled this big can out and I think this can was inside it. Looks like it's preserved it. Oh, wow, look at that. Calumet double action baking powder. Got the lid and everything. Hey, that's going home with me. Sweet, it's got a picture of an Indian on it. Do you see that? That's pretty cool. I hope we find something cool in here. Another old can. Well, I've been digging my butt off here. So far, I found all these cans. And that one bottle and that other good can. I just peeled back a layer here. And look at this. It's just packed in here. Very few bottles. A lot of cans. That was a milk can. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. If I find anything interesting, I'll show you. Well, look at my collection of cans. And I've only found one bottle. I just found this, which is something that you usually find. It's standard fly spray. I think they use that for the mosquitoes. Still had a cap on it. Well, I got a target back in here. Wow, look at that. That's got some color on it. Sweet. Just found this can. Look what they did with the inside. Bend it down and use it to maybe burn something. It's kind of cool. I've got another one coming out here. Ah, so this just rolled out of the hole. No idea wood and some mesh for a fireplace I'll just dug this out here's a different kind of fly spray it says for flies mosquitoes gnats all right I've been digging look at my collection 
Still no more bottles. There's got to be another bottle in here. Well, I just found this can and I was trying to figure out what it said. Popcorn. Well, after digging all this, first one or two targets was a bottle, and then I dug all this. I think I may have some glass. Hey, nice big glass. Full of mud. Sweet. It's got a nice big pain there. Finally, another piece of glass. Let's keep looking, see if there's any more. Oh, it's starting to sprinkle. Great. All right, so I was digging in that same hole, pulled up a can, and there's a bottle in it. That's a screw top. It's got some fancy sides on it. That's kind of cool. Just wish it was embossed or something. Yeah, not going to be able to read it. But cool. I like the unique and unusual ones. Still got fluid in it. It's cold too from being in the ground. All right, let's keep looking. I'll just dug out this can of Giradelli's chocolate. Well, I felt another bottle in here. <coughs> oh, are you kidding me? It's just a stubby. All right, I'm covered in dirt. This has got to be the weirdest can of today. Look at this can of motor oil. It's huge, look at that. That is a big can. Wow. All right, so look at all these cans I found. I think I found four bottles and uh, one was broke. So anyways, let's go home and get ready for the roundup. Well, hey guys, welcome to the roundup. Here's everything I found today when I found that new spot. I found so many cans, I couldn't bring them all home. So this is the best of what I found. Uh, let's start over here. This is the remnants, I think, of an old shovel. I thought this was an axe head, but I think they used it as a wedge. Because you can see where they pounded on that pretty hard. That thing looks like it did a lot of work. And then I found this thing and I was curious what this thing was and then I finally figured it out. This is one of those brushes, it probably had bristles out to here, that you would lather up your face with when you shaved. So that's what that is, you'd lather up your face. That's pretty cool. So then I found this really cool old can this is one of the cans I brought home. My mom was saying she remembers her mother buying this years ago. But it's unusual because you don't see too many things with a picture of an Indian on them anymore. Calumet double acting baking powder. And then, I didn't want to bring this stubby home, but I did. Um, I found this jar. This was pretty cool. It's got some cool panels on the side. And it does have, it says 29 on the bottom, so I don't know what that is. It was a screw top. And then I found this jar. I liked how it had the nice panel on it. I had another one in, in my collection already, kind of similar to it. 
but it doesn't have where a screw top goes on so I'm not sure what kind of cap that had but uh, it's got this little window on this side and then on this side down on the bottom it says Libby's L-I-B-B-Y-S Libby's so that's kind of cool and then I found this and I'm just assuming this was a ketchup bottle but I put it up against all my other ketchup bottles and none of them look like this So anyways, it's got some cool panels on the side. Alright guys, well, I found that new spot and uh, I just pretty much ran out of time today. So I'm planning on going back and uh, see what else we can find there. Alright guys, till next time, good luck and happy hunting. See you on the next one.